Hello, Veteran012 in here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest 7. In the last episode, we started exploring the Great Lighthouse. And in this episode, we are going to uh, hopefully get through the rest of it. One open, one unopened chest in the area, huh? Yeah, it's over here. And we have a new enemy in this fight. Actually, a couple new enemies. We got a wolf dettle, a metal babble, and a. I think the butch man is new too. I think they're all new. But yeah, most notably, the metal babble is an enemy that, uh, if you kill it, you will get. Uh, I believe it's like ten thousand experience for killing it. Uh, I guess I'll try to kill it. Yeah, well. But, um, for offense, yeah, you want to use Evil Slash on the Metal Babble. That's probably the best way to kill it. Um, if you got a Poison Needle, uh, you can also use that to try and, uh, instant kill it. Uh, Poison Needle is one of the, is the first item you get in the, uh, it's either poison needle or poison dagger or whatever the hell it's called. It's a poison needle. But basically, uh, it does only one attack bar, but if you do happen to instant kill with it, then it will instant kill the enemy. And that includes metal enemies as well. Um, that's one way to kill them. What's another way? There's got to be another way. Uh, if you're lucky enough just getting a critical hit with a regular physical attack, you can kill them that way if you need to. Um, yeah, that's about it really. I'm gonna try and kill this guy. Uh, if I don't do it, then oh well. Uh, they do like to run away, of course. And okay, he didn't run away, so I got a chance to kill him. Yeah, they usually have really high agility. Okay, I was able to kill him. Outstanding. But yeah, uh, it ignores defense. Evil Slash ignores defense. It, it only has a 50% hit rate, but it ignores defense. So I mean, you can't go wrong with something like that. So, sword dance it is, stampede it is. Yeah, over 10,000. So there you go. I'm not going to be really uh, too keen on fighting too many of those guys right now because, again, I do want to keep my levels somewhat lower. That way I don't run into an area where, uh, you know, I can't get class levels. Uh, not that that... I'm, like, way underleveled for the level cap at this point, I think, but I don't know. I don't want to get into the habit of leveling up until I get to disc 2. If I am going to level up. I don't know. I might not even level up when I get to this too. It all depends. It all depends on if I think I need to. If I if I think I have to, then I will. But I don't think I'll have to. I don't know. It shouldn't be too bad. Open chess. And they're right here. And we get a scarf. Wow, thanks a lot, game. A scarf. Pretty fucking worthless.
Tyrannodon, Tyrannodon. I don't know if these Tyrannodons are new, but they're about to be killed. I imagine uh, Dra Drake Slash or Dragon Slash probably does like 50% more damage to them, but I imagine that probably doesn't matter if you have Sword Dance, because you're going to do more damage with Sword Dance anyways, no matter what you do. Beat. Don't be casting Beat on us. You little shits. Yeah, Beat is an instant death spell, in case I uh, didn't mention that before. I'm pretty sure I have, and I'm pretty sure you've probably seen, like, fucking mimics using it on me and shit, but... Just in case you've missed that up until now... There you go. Oh, they don't take damage from Stampede, huh? Well, that's okay. They're still gonna die all the same. Got to level 25. Very cool. So, I mean, if you run into those jewel bot bags a lot in this place, it's probably a good place to uh, probably a good place to get gold if you don't like using the casino, like me. Those jewel bags, they drop a decent amount of gold. Not great by any means, but it's a decent amount. I mean, it's certainly respectable. More respectable than most of the enemies in this game. I mean, they're so stingy with the gold in Dragon Quest games, it's ridiculous. Especially in this game. I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's bad in Dragon Quest VI too. I don't know, I haven't played that game. It's the only Dragon Quest game I haven't really played, actually. And ooh, look at that. The wolf devil is tamed. How about that? He loves us. Um, oh yeah, Gabo. Do your thing, buddy. No more treasure. Ooh, more platforms. Yummy. And this is an annoying one, too. Empty, you jerk, you total jerk. Now, this takes so long waiting for these damn things. Oh, bullshit, man. Bullshit, I had that. Oh, come on, man. Why does that block gotta start going from that direction every time? That's bullshit, man. Bullshit. Total bullshit. I shouldn't have fell. I should have made that. Oh, fuck me. Damn it. Oh. <sighs> Shit. There, I just got a little too impatient. Okay, got a life acorn. Still got a bunch of those I gotta use. But I'm gonna I'm gonna save them for later. I'm gonna save them for for who I think needs them the most.
And as long as none of my party members are Maribel, uh, then I'm not really sure who needs them the most, to be quite honest. Because uh, out of all the characters, I think she has the weakest amount of uh, HP. Obviously, uh, you know, that's base HP. I'm not talking about, like, uh, like mastered bonuses. Like, like, if Maribel mastered the hero class, for example, she'd get, like, an extra 31 HP. Ominous looking. Terrible looking. Isn't it? Yes. So let's go ahead and use the... Uh, I had a fucking brain fart there. Yeah, I want to use the uh, the Rainbow Dew. It's taking us somewhere. It's taking us somewhere. What is this nonsense? And it's like we're in another dimension. Oh, it's spooky in here, man. Ooh, chains. And weird backgrounds. It really is like we're in another dimension. This kind of reminds me of the Mountain of Woe in Chrono Trigger, actually. I think it's the chains. Yeah, so let's just hurry up and defeat the jerk that did this to us. I mean, to the people here in this region. Feeble opponents. Well, you're in for a surprise when facing us, buddy. Alright, so we're gonna take on the Bellywar, and this guy, even though he looked like he had like two guys ready to fight with him, he only fights by himself, apparently. Yeah, he's like some weird giant with, I don't know, he's like a, I don't know what the fuck this guy is, man. He, he's definitely weird, though. Um, I believe this guy mainly just uses physical attacks, so, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna use physical attacks and sap and have Melvin use heal song and that should probably be all I need to be honest I don't even think this guy has that much HP either Yeah, wait, wait, nice, nice waiting for the uh, round to end there to finally get sat on the bad guys, Melvin. I need to boost your agility or something, buddy. Alright, so... Heal song, that's right. I mean, the amount of damage that I am dealing against these assholes. Actually, Gabo, do I have something better with you by now? Something that's guaranteed to work? I mean, uh, Stampede is good, don't get me wrong. It's just, I'm getting kind of sick of the randomness of it. It'd be nice to have something that's good, that's reliable. You know what I mean? Like, completely reliable. Wow. Look at that shit. 300 damage total from just that, that one sword dance. Ow, you jerk! You almost killed Gabo! What the hell was that? Wow. Is that an attack that always reduces a character's HP to 1, or was that just really lucky on my part? I don't even know. Gabo, buddy, you need to, uh, actually, you know what would be great for this fight? Or this, this particular round to, uh, to have Gabo... Just heal him. See, if I had the Bless Staff, that's what I would use, but I don't have that, do I? So I guess I'm just using heal. I gotta keep pouring on the damage, though.
Yeah, because this guy's going to die anyways. And we stolen a... Weren't we supposed to get that anyways? I think we were supposed to get the uh, question mark shard anyways, even though it told us that Gabo stole it. But yeah, that guy's a joke. And wait, we got two babies. Oh wait, those two monsters are two babies. And now we're getting warped out. And that's it. All right, groovy. Groovy. We're not going to talk about our victory and what we need to do next. Okay, whatever, man. I guess we're just going to cast outside. But nothing happened. You mean to tell me I gotta walk all the way out of this place? You're killing me. See, I don't know if I'm supposed to. Why? Why wasn't? Why isn't the game letting me do do fucking uh, outside? Huh? Is there a reason for that? Was it because I was on the top floor? Maybe that's the reason. I mean, is there an, uh, like a story event blocking my way here? Oh, now it works because I'm inside and not like at the top of the tower. That's stupid. Stupid. But hey, we're back. And why is the music still sad? We should be happy. Or do we still have things to do? Well, they did say something about a pilot fire, so uh, I'm thinking we're probably going to have to uh, do something about that. No, you're very welcome, sir. Oh, Melvin's getting all emotional. We were able to save the little babies. Why is everybody crying? Because they're happy. They're crying because they're happy. Not because they're sad. Yeah, quite the glib talker there. Anyways, can I actually... Well, no, I'm not... You can buy equipment here, but I don't think I'm going to bother. Where's the armor guy? Good for the armor. We'll have to be even more careful from now on. Okay, all this, all this stuff right here is garbage. Do not waste your money on it. Oh, wait. No, I take that back. If you're like me and don't plan on using the uh, Ranger class at all in your playthrough, the Bounce Swords you can buy here are pretty good if you want more than one. I don't know if you find another one in a chest in this game, but... Um, yeah, I mean, multiple bounce swords could be good. Maybe eventually I'll, I'll get more of those, but I don't think I'm going to need them right now. I want to save my money for better things. Spells are pretty situational anyways. Like those fucking boss battles in, uh, in that one that one area. I got Zeppel and uh, this fucking crony or whatever it is. Yeah, 
breaking the seal is definitely priority. Don't let your feelings get in the way of our uh, progress in our However, seeking revenge, the monsters may have captured her and taken her away. My suspicions are true. We must get the pilot fire from Engao as soon as possible and break the seal. If the seal is broken, the monster's power will fade, and perhaps our efforts will lead us to Anise. Okay, so we get the coastal letter. Now, I don't remember if this is actually Coast or um, Angao in the present or the past. I have no idea. I can't remember. I can't remember shit. So, I'm going to try the past first. If that doesn't work, then I'll go to the present. little bit and I'll probably have to call it quits. I just gotta remember which one of these is Engao. Actually there's a good way to find out without me having to dink around forever. Yeah my strategy guide actually shows where they're at or where it's at. Engao. Upper left. this point I'm too over leveled for this area so the monsters and the battles are going to be utterly pointless for me because uh, well, they just are. The enemies are too weak therefore the game will not award me for the battle. In fact this is a prime Candidate for the tiptoe spell. Or repel, actually. Alright, so let's just go straight to the Elder. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, that must be the pilot fire. It be. Now we get to show the Elder our letter. Yes, I do. Yeah, how are we going to carry a fucking flame anyways? Oh, another empty bottle. That works. Fire in a bottle. Cute. Alright, so now we can go back to Coastal. I'll be doing that in the next episode. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will. See you next time. Bye-bye.